Well, good morning. I hope your day is getting off to a great start. Um, and I hope that throughout the day, God might use you to encourage someone, pray for someone, to bless someone. Uh, we all need to be praying about this, this uh, virus, this pandemic, that, that God would intervene and that he'd bring healing to our nation, that people would make wise decisions, uh, pray for our leadership, uh, in our nation, pray for those in health care. I mean, there's just a host of things that, that we should be lifting before God and, and asking uh, on behalf of others. Well, today I want to share a couple of verses with you again out of 2 Corinthians. That's where we're focusing for these next few days. In uh, chapter 2, verse 14, Paul writes, Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. For we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those that are perishing. Well, it's almost football season. And uh, decisions are being made. I'm told even this week that um, there may or may not be uh, college football this year. And I got to thinking about championships and all that is involved in the celebration of a championship. You know, when a championship is won, it's not uncommon for the team to return to their hometown, and there's a parade, and there's celebration, uh, there's rejoicing. The whole town uh, will turn out and, and celebrate the great victory. In Roman days, it was a lot the same way, because the Roman conqueror would return uh, the news of victory had spread. The city would turn out, and there would be beautiful displays. There would be music. There would be dancing. There would be a celebration. Uh, if we were to be transported back then, maybe the thing that would stand out to us more than anything would not be the sight and the sound, but maybe it would be the fragrance because beautiful wreaths of flower would be on display, and, and the fragrance of those flowers would fill the air during those celebration time. Well, in our scripture today, it tells us that God schedules a fragrant parade for his son Jesus every day. Jesus has won. And that's something we really could get into our heart and into our life and our spirit today. Jesus is one. Uh, we live in a fallen world and the enemy is the prince of the power of the air. But the truth is, the outcome was settled long ago. Jesus never loses. And so, as a child of God, we're, we're a part of the, of, of the crowd. We're in the parade also. So let me encourage you today as, as you begin your day, and just be reminded throughout the day that with everything that's going on, with the virus, with the unrest, with the confusion, with the, the spirit of fear that is engulfing our nation, that in the midst of it, Jesus wins. He's already won. And as a part of his family, we're winners too. Let me pray with you. Father, thank you today for your goodness. Thank you for Christ. And that in him, we are more than conquerors. And so we pray today that you might use us to encourage those around us as we interact with people throughout today. And Lord, that we might share a word of encouragement, a word of hope with them. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.